What is going on guys? My name is Doug, you're always on board, and this is going to be a quick tutorial teaching you how to remove blemishes, acne, hair, anything that you want off of a face in Photoshop CC. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I have my image in to Photoshop, and I'm going to duplicate that image just so that I have a backup copy of the image. Um, and the first tool that I'm going to show you guys how to use is the clone stamp tool. Now with the clone stamp tool, um, you click Alt or Option in an area, and then whenever you move your mouse, it'll actually bring that selected area over where your uh, cursor is. So let's say we want to grab from his nose, which has this reflection. If I try to bring that over, it'll actually bring that reflection with it. So with this tool, I would advise to use an area that's close to the area that you want to change, um, or you'll bring stuff with you that you don't want, or you'll grab like a darker area and put it in there and it won't look as right. So how you use this tool is clicking Alt and Option, you grab an area that you want, and then you move your mouse over to a different area. You don't have to be holding on to Alt or Option anymore after that point. Um, you just click and then it does the work for you. Um, and it blends it in quite nicely and I, in, I enjoy using this tool a lot. Now, um, right there, that was a bad selection because it uh, messes with the crease. So that's a good tip for you guys if you guys are doing these edits you don't want to make it to where the person looks fake because um, then it just wouldn't look like that person anymore the goal here is just to remove blemishes and whatnot so the next tool that i would use is the spot healing brush tool now with this tool it's pretty simple um, you can use left and right bracket to make the brush larger or smaller and that also goes for the clone stamp tool as well you can use these two to actually make the brush size sm smaller or larger which makes it to where you can grab a bigger selection of an area and whatnot. So right here with the spot healing brush tool selected, I can click on a mole and it'll go away. It does that because it takes the surrounding areas and blends it in perfectly. So you can go through and you can resize the brush to where it fits perfectly and you can also click and drag. So if you can see this like wrinkle or scar, I'm not sure what it is, but you can click and drag and it'll actually clear that whole area and sometimes you're gonna to have to do a little bit more than that to make it a clear selection. But I really love this tool. You can just come through and you can fix, you know, anything that you need to fix. So let's just go through a little bit and fix some of this stuff. Okay, and you can click and drag just to get rid of some of that. Let's get rid of this right here. Boom, gone, adios. And we'll go over that one more time because it looked like there was a line there. Uh, go through right there, that's gone. That's gone. You can remove some hairs if you don't want them to have hairs. Get rid of some of this. So you can pretty much just go through and you can make anybody look like they've never had acne before or they don't have freckles or they don't have scars or, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to get rid of. Let's get rid of that. Boom. Gone. Now another tool that you can use is the healing brush tool. Um, and this is you click an area that you want and then it pretty much does what Content Aware does. I don't really know the exact specifics on it, but I know that this is a tool that you can use to actually remove you know, blemishes just like you could with the other tools. Boom, beautiful. And now another way that I know how to do it is by making a selection with the Marquee tool. Let's say we grab this cheek right here. Then uh, you can right click and then go to Fill. And with uh, use uh, content aware, click OK, it'll actually blend all that stuff in, which doesn't always look as good. So I wouldn't advise using this. This is just, you know, a, a method of actually doing it. But I've never actually used it that way um, professionally. So there's no reason for you to. I'm just showing you that it exists. All right. Anyways, my two favorite tools that I would most likely use in this tutorial is the clone stamp and the spa healing brush tool. I think that you have a lot of control over those two tools. And... You know, the result is perfect. It's exactly what you're looking for. Now, if we back out of that real quick, let's do one last little final touch up. So that was before and that was after. And that is my tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CC. My name is Doug or always on board. If you're looking for any tutorials or any help or anything more specific, do I need to go through this tutorial and go more in depth? Uh, let me know in on my Google+, my Facebook, my Twitter, or the comments down below. My name is Doug, we're always on board. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this.